a guy named Butcher Pete. Oh, Pete just flew into this town and he's chopping up all the women's meat. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Outside Xbox, your show of the week. I'm Jane. And I'm Mike. So, uh, good week, Jane. You're looking a little bit tired, actually. Oh, thanks, Mike. Yeah, actually, I've been up late looking for keys in our DMC video guide. Did you try down the back of the sofa? So many keys. Because that's normally where I... Uh... Yeah, what have you been doing this week, Mike? Oh, I've been playing terrible Minecraft clones on the indie game Marketplace. Suicide! Oh. Well, right, suicide's impossible. Yeah. yeah, you're trapped here forever. Unrelated to that, I've had an idea for a video game. It's called Dig Make, uh, and you mine blocks and then craft them into items. Also, there are zombies. Are there any keys? Uh, no. Love it. This week we're taking the show in a speculative new direction to talk about one of our favourite game series ever. Oh, uh, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. No. Uh, Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder. No. Ooh, uh, Wakeboarding Unleashed starring Sean Murray. No. Is that even a thing? Actually, you know what? It's Fallout featuring no extreme sports personalities. Wait, they haven't announced a new Fallout game, have they? Well, no, at least not officially. But it seems like everyone is talking about Fallout 4 at the moment. First, there was a vague tease from the voice actor behind Fallout 3, DJ 3Dog, saying his character might return to the airwaves in some mystery future game. More on that later. Then, a new story surfaced claiming the next Fallout game would be set in Boston, that it would include a Skyrim-style levelling system and introduce Lovecraftian horror elements to the story. All very exciting, all very false, apparently. The source later claimed he had made the whole thing up. That's disappointing, but it just shows how much people are looking forward to a new Fallout, and it's not hard to see why. Firstly, the series setting is a unique delight. Retrofuturistic is a hard thing to get right, but Fallout's blend of 1950s kitsch and futuristic sci-fi is something you won't find anywhere else in gaming. I mean, look at the computers these guys are using. They can build a flying android that can give you a haircut, but not a colour monitor. Certainly, I am programmed with a multitude of hair-shaping scenarios. If you would care to choose one, I would be happy to replicate it for you. Both the capital wasteland of Fallout 3 and the Mojave wasteland of Fallout New Vegas are endlessly fascinating worlds, littered with quests that range from the straightforward to the ridiculous. And if you don't fancy following the game's storyline, you can just strike out on your own and see what you find. You will find something. I'm the combination of firearms and the VAT targeting system gives the combat an edge over Skyrim's sometimes messy skirmishes, and the character progression and karmic alignment systems feel like they actually make a difference to the way you play your game. Now, the next Fallout game hasn't been officially announced yet, but here at Outside Xbox we will bet you cash money it's being worked on right now, probably for the next generation of consoles, and here's why. Fallout 3 and New Vegas were huge successes, and Bethesda presumably likes money. Bethesda's main studio, the one that made Skyrim, hasn't been confirmed as working on anything since Skyrim's release in late 2011. They tend to take two years to make a game, which would land their next game release bang in the speculative launch window for the next Xbox. Since 2006, when The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion came out, Bethesda's games have alternated between The Elder Scrolls series and The Fallout series. It went Oblivion, Fallout 3, Skyrim, now it's Fallout's turn again. Of course, this is all speculation, but we'll eat Andy's favourite hat if there's not another Fallout on the way. And since we've spent all week fantasising about it, Fallout 4 is our game of the week. Have you ever considered that this show might be an elaborate social experiment, like a Fallout Vault, uh, designed to find out what happens to a bunch of people if they're forced to make a weekly video game show? And maybe that's why we've been locked in here since the site launched. We're not locked in, you know, you just uh, have to push the doors instead of pulling. Uh, yeah, no, I, I do know that, um, but I do have to go and check something. Right. Just give me a second. All right, see you back in uh, six minutes? Yeah, something like that. Free freedom! So how's your week? Yeah, not bad. I knew we were doing Fallout this week, so I had this Pip Boy 3000 installed. Ah, neat. Is it any good? Yeah, it's alright. It's uh, a little bit judgmental. Oh, come on! I could have told you that. So, what are we doing? Uh, well, I thought we could talk about what we'd like to see in a Fallout sequel. Cool, cool, cool. Let me just uh, get a non caffeinated drink. Stupid Pip Boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, this thing's amazing. I don't know how I got along without it. Uh, could you pass me my itching fork as well? Yeah, thanks. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Until next time, this is Three Dog. Ow! And you're listening to Galaxy News Radio, bringing you the truth, no matter how bad it hurts.
Regardless of how you feel about Fallout 3 character 3 Dog, The actor who plays him, Eric Todd Dellums, may have released the first tease about Fallout 4 last week, tweeting, To all my Fallout 3 and 3 Dog fans, there may be more of the dog coming, fingers crossed. Now, this may be nothing more than a tease for a 3 Dog spin-off, which we imagine would be called The Adventures of the Annoying Man on the Radio who said four different things, but it got us thinking about Fallout 4 again. We've already said that we'd love to see it as an Xbox 720 launch title in a recent show of the week, but if we had our way, what would the ideal Fallout 4 game include? Here's what we think. You can secure your family's future by reserving a spot in a state-of-the-art underground vault from vault That's right, Bob. Act now, and your family can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. For me, the most fascinating aspect of the Fallout series are the vaults. Officially set up as Fallout shelters to protect Americans from nuclear holocaust, each vault is actually a social experiment designed to test people's reactions to different environments. Quite what they hope to learn from Vault 106, where they pumped psychoactive drugs into the air conditioning system, we can't say. Actually, the net result of the entire vault experiment seems to be lock people underground for ages and they go mental. Hope it was worth the $645 billion. Still, exploring vaults and piecing together their backstories from diaries, computer logs and screaming men called Gary <laughs> Gary remains my absolute favourite thing to do in Fallout games, so I'm hoping for even more vaults in Fallout 4. If Bethesda are running short on ideas, they could hand the concept over to some prominent sci-fi writers and let each of them come up with a vault concept. It'd be like a playable science fiction anthology where you uncover the story yourself. Or hand it over to the community, make a vault creator, and then make the best creations available for download, the way Portal 2 does with its community test chambers. Over time, you could build up an exhaustive collection of vaults which you could make accessible from an in-game vault tech hub, letting you scroll through and play any vaults that took your fancy. Should the unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, you'll be safe in a vault tech vault. So, in summary, vaults. Thanks for your time. In many ways, Fallout 3 is the perfect action RPG, but it falls down next to my other favourite action RPG, Mass Effect, in two important respects. First, it's not in outer space, except for that one time it was. And second, and more importantly, there's hardly anyone to seduce, and when you do, it's less like this. Come here. And more like this. You're platinum, pussycat. You know how to swing. Nice Charlies, too. Give him a shake for the Ben man, will you? Hello. Thanks, Chandler. So, here's the deal, Bethesda. If I'm not fending off romanceable characters with a retro-futuristic stick in Fallout 4, count me out. Of course, I'm kidding, except in the case of the mysterious stranger. Because you would, yeah? No, what I'm really after in a next-gen Fallout is a fully voiced player character. Call me crazy, but I'm ready for dialogue options with real spoken dialogue, instead of playing another telepathic mute who only makes ouch sounds. Now, Mike will tell you that first-person role-playing games and first-person games in general are better off without immersion-breaking voiced protagonists, citing obscure examples such as Half-Life 2. Man, a few words, aren't you? But Mike will tell you a lot of things, and I'm telling you that the right voice actor or actress will bring your next-gen lone wanderer to life in a way we can barely imagine. Well, I've got my fingers crossed that with the leap to a new generation of consoles, this is the year when Bethesda finally adds their number one fan request to one of their games, co-op. I don't even care if it's just to shut us up. The worlds that they create for Fallout and the Elder Scrolls are so rich and involving that I reckon the only way to dramatically improve them now is to allow you to explore with a buddy or three. What's more, with elements like Radiant AI and Radiant Story which create quests procedurally, these worlds are increasingly autonomous and resilient to breaking them, which should make it easier to add one or more other players. Besides, the next Xbox will probably have 400 processors, so you can't wheel out the excuse that it's impossible anymore. The next Xbox will be an impossibility engine. Of course, this could be problematic, when the perfect post-apocalyptic life you've scraped out for yourself is ruined by your soon-to-be former best friend joining your game, murdering you and your family, and looting the corpses. On balance, though, we reckon it's well worth the risk. The world's a hostile place after the bombs drop anyway, and as long as we regularly remind our friends that co-op is short for cooperative, it'd be the perfect way to play Fallout 4. I win again! And 
now it's time for the feedback, where we take your comments from across the site, Facebook, YouTube, and the Twitters, and we read them out on that. First up this week, Metallicor fan Enjoy Jane's turn to the dark side in last week's show of the week, saying, Can we have more of new Jane? I really want to see how good she can get at being a dick to people. Actually, I've been practicing. Didn't even hurt. Next up, Nick says, Andy, do some solo Let's Plays already. Get on it. Do some Super Meat Boy or something. Hey, your wish is our command. So let's just drop down here and, oh, dead. Dead. Nearly dead. Okay, just, oh, dead. 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 Yeah, that's less entertaining than I'd hoped. Hmm. I have the option to play as white-haired Dante in new DMC Devil May Cry. Kite87 says, Nice of them to add it, but new Dante looks like pink with the white hair. I think I'll stick with the black. He does, though. Yeah, fair enough. Right, I uh, better head back. Okay. Hang on. You hold up. Yeah, sure. And there you go. Yeah. See ya. Right, see ya. So, you came back. That's good. Yeah, I couldn't really cut it on the outside. Matt Damon isn't even Jason Bourne anymore. This is not the world I grew up in. These are tragic, tragic times. So that's it for this week. But between now and next time, you can get in touch with us on Twitter at twitter.com slash outside Xbox or on Facebook at facebook.com slash outside Xbox. And if you want to catch up with our daily Xbox 360 videos, head to the website at outsidexbox.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash outside Xbox. See you next time. Hey, Mike. Yeah? Uh, that sequel to Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer that you were so excited about. Oh, Tyler. amazing. I thought this day would never yeah. come. Oh, there's just a piece of paper in here that says you are an idiot. <laughs> that must be a mistake at the disc pressing plant. You know what? Hold this.